Hello everyone and welcome to Cashew Bird. You want to make vegan cheese and um, when you look online there are many recipes. Some will be fermented, some will be not, some will say use re Rejuvelac, some will say use probiotic capsules, and some will say oh just use uh, cheese starter filters. So which one, when to use and why? So this is what this video is about. So when fermenting something you need to think about three things. Um, the first one is which ingredient are you using, the second one is which bacteria starter you're using, and the third one is the temperature you're fermenting your product. So um, when you think about those three items, you can start to make sense of why and when to do something. And the first one is ingredient. When you think about um, bacteria, you know that they need sugars to multiplicate, so to, to survive. Um, and in order to add that sugar, the ingredient needs to have some sugars. And you have the complex sugars, like starches, and you have the simple sugars. The bacteria can only use the simple sugars. That means if you do something, for example, cooked rice and you want to ferment it, that's a very tricky one because rice is mostly starches, so it doesn't have the starters for a bacteria. But if you think about cashews, for example, it has a good amount of uh, sugars that's why cashews is so easy to ferment and most recipes use cashews um, if you think about um, almonds or um, soybeans for example um, they're fine but you might need to um, add a little bit of sugar white table sugar is fine uh, but you can use dextrose but that will give the starter the boost that the bacteria need to grow so when thinking of your ingredient the first thing you need to think of is how much sugar it contains the next thing on the list is what kind of bacteria are you going to use? Many years ago, one of the first ways to ferment was using Rejuvelac. And Rejuvelac is just fermented grains, which was soaked in water for a couple of days and that will create um, bacteria and yeast and um, all sorts of starters. Um, the problem with that is that it's a wild fermentation. And even though it kind of sounds cool, it's also um, a bit dangerous because if anything that is bad in the grains, in the water, um, and you ferment it for that time, it will also um, multiply and it will create a health risk. There are a couple of cases of vegan cheese making people sick because they were using Rejuvelac. So I don't recommend um, because of the wild nature of it. The second one is the probiotic capsules. It is something that is intended for your gut health, but not for fermenting. And because of that, it's very inconsistent. So every brand wants its own mix of, of, of starters or bacteria in there, and also uh, different concentrations. So it's very hard to know how much you need to add to ferment your cheese, the first one because of the consistency, and the second one is those bacteria are not for flavor, they are there for health and because of it, it doesn't always translate into a flavorful cheese. So you want to be careful uh, when using uh, probiotics because you need to think a little bit why, which ones, and uh, what kind of conditions are you growing them, and it's all different, it's a bit more complicated, and that's why I don't recommend for the flavors and for the inconsistencies. And the third one is what we um, at Cashbear specialized on, which is um, cheese cultures and we have a couple of them so um, how do you choose from the most important ones that we want to talk about is the mesophilic and the cheese starter which is the thermophilic cultures um, so those two um, the main point here is mesophilic or thermophilic and meso means medium which is room temperature so it needs a, m a medium temperature to grow which is about 20 to 22 degrees and that's why it's so easy to work with mesophilic cultures because you can just uh, add it leave it overnight and it will ferment your milk on the other hand with the thermophilic thermo is temperature it's it needs a bit of heat uh, and that's why you actually need to keep at 40 degrees for a couple of hours uh, in order for this bacteria to multiply and create flavors and texture. So that's the main difference between them. 
but that doesn't mean that all mesophilic are the same or all thermophilic cultures are the same. Different brands, different applications will use different bacteria. So even though you have um, similar bacteria in on them, they actually act differently, uh, slightly different. They are different strains. So um, the mesophilic is uh, more of a mild flavor, but still drops the pH, um, so it makes it safe, and um, it will create a little bit of more test texture on the on the cheese. And the second one is the thermophilic cultures because um, this one will create quite a good texture. This is more like for cream cheese, for blue cheese, for camembert, and this one is something like for feta, like our new feta cheese uses this, um, these cultures. And that's why, that's because it creates a little bit more texture while fermenting. And if you don't have access to those, you can still use yogurt starter. Uh, this is a thermophilic culture. That means that it does need um, some sort of, of heat in the first few hours, but you can make cheese out of it. But this one contains bacteria that create even more texture than this one because this is uh, and this has um, bacteria that will create also a little bit more flavor. So that's why you have um, so many different cultures. And this is just our mix. We get our mix from a laboratory. That means um, they are 100% vegan. Most of the dairy cultures that you can buy are not vegan. Um, so they will use uh, lactose in, during the fermentation. That's why we also don't recommend using um, just randomly if you care about not having animal products, not um, financing the, the animal industry. With this one, it's just a lab laboratory with um, simple uh, plant sugars that were fermented and um, selected for our application, which is vegan cheese. And on top of that, we also have um, some um, other types of bacteria, uh, or starters. All of them are based on mesophilic culture. So um, all of them ferment at room temperature, and actually the only important ones are those two. They are mesophilic cultures with some special enzymes that will create flavors. Uh, but by doing so, it also um, breaks down the protein, which uh, will make the cheese softer. So you don't get um, kind of a firm cheese. This is more thinking like a flock, um, like this quark um, kind of um, cheese, that, which is it's not so firm. And Walgurt is, is something similar to yogurt, uh, but this is, uh, is a mesophilic culture with um, with enzymes, so it's more like a creme fraiche uh, flavor, and this is actually yogurt. Uh, but the quark um, is, if you want some, some more structure, it would be the quark. Uh, and this one is just a camembert mix uh, that we have on our My First Vegan Cheese Kit. And this is the quark culture plus the camembert cultures. And um, so this one is just a kit, a set of cultures, uh, while those two are actually the, the special cultures we have at Cashewbert. So, to put everything together, um, if you want to make cheese, uh, fermented vegan cheese, we do recommend um, using um, cheese starter because it's just safer and easier to use. Um, and if you want to know, oh, do I need a mesophilic or I want a thermophilic starter, depends on how you want first flavors, second is the texture. If you just want something like a camembert or a blue cheese, which is creamy, or a cream cheese, the mesophilic is great, it's much easier to work with. But if you want something more with more structure, the thermophilic would be better suit, uh, uh, suited for that, but you need to keep in mind that you need to ferment at higher temperatures before doing anything, um, otherwise the culture won't, won't grow as efficiently. And if you don't have access to them, yogurt culture is not ours, you can, cho you can choose many, uh, it will also work but you need also to um, put at about 40 degrees all of the thermophilic in the yogurt at about 40 degrees for a couple of, uh, a couple of hours. Two, three hours would be enough, uh, but longer will get tangier and uh, more flavorful. If you want to order those cultures, you can go to cashewbear.com and we ship to almost all European countries. Take a look at books.cashewbear.com for our recipes and subscribe 
to watch more videos like this. See you next time. Take care, Shiba.